2024 Sangyong Torres EVX vs 2024 Kia Niro be a perfectly sized electric SUV comparison. 2024 Kia Niro MSRP range 26,840 to $35,240. The Kia Niro is a great all around option for anyone wanting an efficient, compact crossover. Acceleration is lackluster. But the Nero gains back points with its helpful driving aids, smooth ride quality, and value for the money. KG Mobility, the company formerly known as Sangyong, has detailed its latest fully electric SUV in its home market of South Korea. The Torres EEX is the anticipated next generation EV from the brand, which has undergone a significant overhaul in the last few years. Kia's stylish hybrid crossover hatchback mashup, the 2024 Kia Niro, occupies a unique niche. It's tidy in length, a bit shorter than the average canoe, but versatile, with ample cargo space and about the same rear seat legroom as the larger Honda CRV. It's also wildly fuel efficient, delivering up to 53 miles per gallon combined. That's just a few MPG shy of the Toyota Prius a longer, but smaller inside, liftback design. The Nero's impressive efficiency comes at the expense of power, though. The Nero's wheezy four-cylinder makes just 139 horsepower. Still, utility and efficiency give the Nero a unique edge among small crossovers. Slightly larger than its direct rivals, like the Hyundai Kona, Kia Nero, and MGZS EV, the Torres looks to compete with cars in the same size bracket as the Honda ZRV and Nissan Qashqai, with total dimensions coming in at 4,715 mm long, 1890 mm wide, and 1,735 mm tall. After a long teaser campaign, the brand's Korean division has released details of the model. Now in its second year of its second generation, the Nero has shaken off its former cuteness and Kia's insistence that it wasn't a hatchback, but really an SUV, despite no all-wheel drive, or elevated ride, or significant cargo advantages. Crossover is a more apt description. The Nero crosses stylish hatch design with SUV cabin height. Despite smaller proportions, the Nero offers more headroom than the larger Honda CRV or even its Kia Sportage family relation. For cargo space, the Nero splits the difference between two Toyotas, smaller than the Prius by one cubic foot, but just more than one cubic foot larger than the Corolla Cross Hybrid. But it's the Nero's efficiency that truly impresses, between 49 and 53 miles per gallon combined, depending on trim. The Torres EDX will pack a 73.4 kWh battery pack good for a 433 km combined driving range, and interestingly, will use BYD-style blade battery LFB cells in its construction. It is front-wheel drive only, powered by a 152 kW per 340 Nm electric motor. Combined efficiency lands at 20 kWh per 100 km. Its unique design and fuel-thrifty ways really make the Nero a class of one. Well, too now that the Toyota Corolla Cross Hybrid is here. This crossover version of the Corolla gets up to 42 miles per gallon, but adds all-wheel drive. Another Toyota, the Prius, still reigns supreme with a max 57 miles per gallon. Its liftback slash trunk design isn't quite as versatile as the Nero's traditional hatch body style but it offers slightly more cargo space. 
The Honda CR-V Hybrid delivers 40 miles per gallon combined and nearly twice the cargo space. But it's also nearly a foot longer than the Nero and costs several thousand dollars more. On the outside, the EVX has a completely different look from its combustion equivalent. With a filled-in bumper and an integrated set of LED DRLs to replicate the look of a slotted grille in reference to the earlier generation Sangyong Corando models from where it descends. These are matched by a set of LED headlights and LED fog lights. The Nero is poised and easygoing at low speeds, but it's less endearing when you need a burst of speed. Considering the Toyota Prius newly improved performance credentials, the Nero's athleticism is now subpar. At our test track, the Nero accelerated from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 9.7 seconds. That's slow for a modern hybrid, and it feels that way on the road too. Square lines end in upright LED fittings at the rear, and a bump on the tailgate to reference, where a full-size spare might once have been. Meanwhile, the EVX swaps out the standard wheels for a more sleek set of aerodynamic alloys. Beyond the lackluster acceleration, the Nero also comes up short in athleticism. Make some quick direction changes, and the Nero's chassis gets very unsettled. It feels flexible and unsturdy. There's minimal feedback coming through the steering wheel, though the light weighting feels appropriate for this type of vehicle. The Nero is clearly much more at home in an urban environment. Inside the EVX features a panoramic display, consisting of two large widescreens for the digital instruments and multimedia panel, while a standard shift lever has been swapped for a small shift by wire toggle. Apple CarPlay and Android Auto connections are available via cable. The Nero has impressive road manners, with a quiet cabin that only gets noisy under hard acceleration. At city speeds, it's extremely pleasant. Similarly, the suspension is tuned to keep things cushy over bumps in the road. The Nero is nice and relaxing for a commute home. The seats are supportive and easy to adjust, but they feel slightly too firm. A bit more padding would go a long way to make long distance driving more comfortable. Standard dual zone climate control is a great feature to have, and the system worked effectively in our testing. The optional ventilation for the front seats is a nice add-on. A floating center console design frees up storage space in the cabin, while the Torres makes use of the brand's latest multifunction steering wheel design. In the rear, the EVX features integrated window shades, tablet holders in the backs of the front seats, and heated seating is standard in all but the center rear position. Kia put in the effort to make the Nero feel fresh and fun even at its affordable price point. The latest generation has much more personality than its predecessor, with a lively design full of angles and patterns. Every control is right in front of the driver and easy to access with a quick input. The switchable touch bar that controls both the audio and climate settings can be finicky to adjust and forces the driver to look away from the road when doing so. The center touch screen, on the other hand, is higher on the dash and pretty easy to reach. Boot space is acclaimed 839 liters, although this appears to be to the more lenient SAE standard rather than the more widely accepted VDA standard, making it difficult to compare to rivals. Regardless, KG Mobility says the EVX is designed to satisfy all areas of daily life and expanded outdoor life, and features 175 millimeters of ground clearance to go with its chunky, almost Subaru-like styling. It also features vehicle-to-load tech, allowing owners to power external devices via its charging port, thanks to an included V2L adapter. Considering the Nero's small overall size, the interior is generously roomy. The driving position is upright, and the view is great out of the front. The rear roof pillar can create a blind spot, but it's not too bad. Passenger space is better in the Nero than in the Prius, 
and the non-tapering roofline means that headroom doesn't suffer. Safety features include a suite of eight airbags, including a center airbag, auto emergency braking, lane keep tech, blind spot monitoring, rear cross traffic alert, as well as adaptive cruise control and a 360 degree surround monitoring system for parking. The EVX is said to charge from 20 to 80% in about 37 minutes on a 200 kilowatts connection, nine hours from zero to 100% on an 11 kilowatts AC connection, or about 30 hours on a home wall socket. Kia's tech is clean looking and easy to use, but it suffers from a few things that age it. Smartphone integration is not wireless if you get the bigger touch screen, and the data port is the older USB type instead of the newer USB-C. This means that a new iPhone's cord, for example, won't work out of the box. On the upside, the available Harman Kardon audio system sounds pretty solid considering the car's price. It is unclear whether Australia will see the fully electric version of the Taurus, although the combustion version, powered by a 1.5-liter turbocharged four-cylinder unit, 125 kilowatts per 280 newton meters, has been confirmed for an Australian arrival toward the end of 2023 or early 2024. KG Mobility has also previewed an expanded electric